So anyways, mm-hmm. um, so you said you had uh, some like very uh, direct notes about Canterlot. Oh yeah, they're 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 actually quite succinct for such a long chapter. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the first is is actually something I've mentioned in previous podcasts, which is um, it's not it's 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 sort of adjacent to the writing style stuff, which is the idea of writing scenes with uh, gameplay tension instead of narrative tension. Um, the whole rhythm of going room to room, clearing enemies, and then moving on to the next one. There's a lot of that in Candlelot. Um, stuff like Grandpa Rattles kissed by Luna perk. It's yeah. It's just it's stuff that just takes you out of it. Yeah. Um, it well, there's there's the stuff that takes you out of it like that, and then there's just the 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 stuff that feels like a. We, we covered this already. I won't I won't dwell on it. Um, just the, the the whole transcribing the rhythm of the game. Or, or trying to emulate the rhythm of the game, and it just it feels bad. <laughs> um, but I suppose that leads into um, the the main point I have about Candlelight, which is um, that it um, there's a lot of like shock content in Candlelight, but there's not a lot of tension. And I feel like what do you m- mean by shock content? Uh, well, it, it, the the, 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 the people die in extremely horrible ways in Cantalot, and it's obviously it's you know that's the idea. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it, there's the you know I was just like reading stuff about like you know the I, th- I think the, the thing that really made my skin crawl was the the, the like the air pressure going up and just oh, yeah you know I just <laughs> it's it's all it's all you know pretty grisly stuff and like that makes sense you know they they're they're going to Cantalot they're basically going to hell. Um, but the, my problem with this is that this is sort of a missed opportunity to have this section be basically a horror section, just because the the way the um, the rhythm of their journey through Cantalot goes, it lacks sort of the tense downtime. We instead have um, a tedious slog from one plot and backstory artifact to the next. With a cavalcade of pain in between, <laughs> um, and this 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 chapter really would have done better if you would have cut it at every memory orb. Oh yeah, yeah, and, and one not not only just so it wasn't a what is it fifty thousand fifty thousand, and thankfully that's exactly what <sighs> praised Rambling does. Yeah. He, he he sorts the reading by memory orb. Yeah, like that that does that does make it like easier to like get through in chunks. Um, but but even then, I feel like a lot of, a lot of stuff can just be cut. Uh, well, it's 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 like it, stuff could be like cut around and rearranged. Like we don't need scene after scene after scene of my organs are failing, my eyes are bleeding, my you know the I'm, static is killing me. It's the story like fixates on the suffering of the party so long and so repeatedly that it just kind of robs it of any narrative power that it might have like i feel like but horse don't you know that suffering is character <laughs> development <laughs> um oh god <laughs> yeah the um, I, I just feel like you know we, we would have had like a much more engaging you know dungeon crawl through candlelot if we'd um if we'd instead had like you know brief bursts of just this you know intense danger and peril interspersed between you know longer sequences of um like threat because the, the, there are there are quiet moments like there's the, the bit in the school where they're just like before everything shows up and um there's like the the bit with the um the the the, 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 the using the shield spell like a duck and cover thing mm-hmm. <laughs> which is it's kind of cute um you know it's a nice little bit of humor that actually lands uh but um <laughs> The, those those like or, or like the in the Ministry of Arcane Sciences, which is almost like a puzzle box of a of a sequence. Um, it's you know the, the, there isn't like that much threat that I've, I I didn't feel much threat in reading those sequences. It's just kind of oh well the you know the <laughs> when I press T it tells me how long I want to wait, not like how many enemies there are nearby or not <laughs> that there are enemies nearby, um, and yeah I was just saying I was thinking that, that you would mentioned earlier that like that there's a lost opportunity in like the horror scene aspect of this 
And, you know, because actually, like, the thing that, that really creeped me out about this entire thing was the mentioning, uh, was her mentioning going through the uh, the Ministry of Peace, and there's nothing. Yeah, I I, I guess th- th- there's, like, yeah, I mean, I, I, did, I was kind of, you know, waiting for the, it's like, what, oh, when's, when's stuff going to burst out of the walls? Because they'd just gone through the school, and it was all ghoul children and stuff like that. Um, yeah. It's like mutated angel bunny. Yeah. I mean, something, I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's not like completely absent of threat, but it just felt like it could have been better constructed to maximize the um, sort of the build and release cycle of like threat and, you know, then the scare. It's like, there's the, we don't, we don't get like, you know, creaky noises that put everyone on edge and just kind of remind them to stop arguing in circles about nothing about lunch god damn it uh, <laughs> it's like they are you know you, 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 the fact that they can just sit there and like be horny at each other and have fights about nothing and it doesn't really like they don't lose anything by that <laughs> it just kind of makes the the downtime sequences feel like oh well we might as well be in town um right which you know yeah like i said that, that's why like the horror aspect would have been a lot more interesting to see that like um the the alicorn that shows up and i know the alicorn um that's in like that's near where calamity is captured in the oh the, 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 one, the one that's chained up and talking to itself yeah the one that's referencing it's basically referencing god and dog from um dead money but uh-huh. like that thing escaping and then following them that, Ooh, like, yeah, Genesis? that would have been oh, cool. From 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 Resident Evil Three would have just been fantastic. That would have been yeah. Because especially since it's been like exposed to so much radiation and necromantic energy, this thing just is basically like, "Hi, coming through the wall. I there's not anything you can do about yeah. it <laughs> except um, run." <laughs> or, yeah. or like uh, Mr. X from Resident Evil Two. Yeah. Oh God, Mr. X, no. <laughs> I still have nightmares oh, about that. The, 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 oh, the one for me was uh, the one in Resident Evil Four, the dude with the bag on his head and the chainsaw. Oh yeah. Oh no. The, the, oh god. Yeah. As, as long as you shot him with a shotgun enough, he, he was less of an issue. But oh wait, there was a uh, oh, there was the, there was another one later on, the like the regenerating thing. Ah, yeah, the we, regenerators. We will, oh, no. fuck the regenerators. We 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 will, that breathing sound. That breathing sound is going to haunt my nightmares <laughs> <laughs> for life. Uh, but um. But yeah, I, I yeah, because I, I feel like that that um, that reference could have been used uh, a lot better as well. Because um, the there's this other I, I mentioned about like bleed with the memory orbs. Because um, there's there's also elements of like they could have really run with something really you know skin crawling and creepy with the the idea of like the telepathy and the sort of the the sort of the dissolving of individuality in the alicorns and how that kind of breaks down in Canterlot, but it's still not completely gone. And it's, there's a lot of like really interesting, like creepy things you could do with that. And they just don't. <laughs> it's the, um, they're, yeah. At best, it, it it's used for a trans joke when one alicorn says, I oh, remembered yeah, I, I used to be a stallion. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. that throwaway line actually kind of was one of those things where I was like, "Hey, you've got like LGBT representation." Ah, uh, never mind. You're being shitty about this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. It's like, oh yeah, it's 2011. I forgot. Uh, also, in this in the scene with that that alicorn, the um, this is this is also where the room is filling with hydrogen, and we we just have like a oh yeah helium, <laughs> helium joke, yep. and I uh, I'm. I have mixed feelings about the the, the presence of the, the levity in this scene, where it's just like, yeah, I mean, like moments of levity should probably be thrown into Canterlot somewhere, but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's a it it it's it feels like a casualty of the priorities of the chapter, which is to cover all the bases lore wise, um, and uh, have like a compelling tension release cycle secondary. Um, yeah. Like, because because in between. I mean, I'm all for f- alicorn fart jokes, but yeah, that, that just. <laughs> um, I mean, we have um, 
Also, would would hydrogen actually do the uh, the squeaky voice thing? I don't know. Well, um, I mean, uh, he- helium would. But yeah. I mean, uh, hydrogen is far lighter than helium, so yeah, by logic, it it would do that. Well, it's the uh, it's the density is the thing. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know. It, we'd have to like ask. Uh, chemist or something um yeah. but uh, uh uh real quick uh, a quick shout out to craze rambling for actually doing a pitch shift for the audiobook yeah to uh to replicate that effect yeah so uh um, kudos to him also also what the fuck they're filling their airships with hydrogen <laughs> well yeah what else are you gonna fill your dirigibles with um helium yeah yeah but hydrogen is lighter than helium Yes, it, it is, it but it, it also uh, explodes. It, helium is less exploding. <laughs> oh. See, see the uh, the Hindenburg. Ah, uh, that, that, that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> Hydrogen only explodes once. We got that out of the way. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was also the thing that took down the USS Akron and another USS something that was one of the uh, Navy's airships that we had for a while, and then decided they were a terrible idea. <laughs> Uh, so that was kind of my main point about Cantalot is just like that there's like potential here and it was it sort of went begging uh, in favor of more loot hunt um, and also just the length of it just my brain just turned to yeah. fuzz halfway through and it's just like I can't keep track of everything here it's just, yeah it's by the it's time too much. I, I got feel so 